Welcome back, travelers. It is Slatter Havoc, and we are back on our Project Ozone 2 in Kappa mode. And as you can see, I've been making some changes. Well, what did I do here? There we go. It was just, it was time to get rid of the cobblestone jungle and bring in a real one. So I've been doing a little bit of work as I'm kind of, you know, thinking about the design and what I want to do. I just, you know, I really wanted to get rid of the cobblestone. It just, it's not pretty. And you could do so much more with, you know, pretty grass and wood and flowers and plants and all that stuff. Now, it's not going to take away from, you know, the versatility and the the usefulness of what we've already made. No, it's going to totally add to it because it's going to be just as useful and pretty at the same time. At least that's the goal. I want to kind of, I mean... Eventually, the biggest thing that's going to be in the overworld is going to be our applied energistics. And I want to have a cool little spot to work with that. And then I kind of want to just take all these and create little, like, I don't know, houses or stuff like that. Like little village centers, if you will. So if you need Batania, you'll run over to the Batania shop. And if you need some smeltering or whatever, then you'll run over to that shop. And that's, that's the inevitable goal. But the creative bug hasn't quite hit enough to start building yet. So I'm just kind of laying the groundwork and foundation. But enough about that, because we got stuff we want to do today. <sighs> Deep cleansing breath, because we are going to be knocking out some Ender.io stuff. I think it's Ender.io, right? No, mate, that actually, you know what? It's actually utility. It's not Ender.io. I want to go make this transfer high pool energy so we can make our very first 64 times generator. And we've got all the materials right here. But we've been waiting for a very, very long time on our uh, Bedrockium. Now, I'm going to be honest, I haven't checked, but I'm pretty sure we've made one by now. I've The, the server's been going for a little while uh, without me playing on it. So, uh, yeah, ha, 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 octuple compressed cobblestone. And I'm going to go ahead and grab these generators real quick. Let me make sure my magnet's on. It is. They're my dislocator. Um, we're going to go ahead and grab these bad boys right here because as soon as we get our ingot, we are making our hypo. Okay. Whew, better caught it. I don't want to make another one of those. And also, I don't know if you guys told you, um, I don't remember mentioning it, but I have switched over to this stuff called, what is your name? LP, LPG uh, from Pneumaticraft. And it actually made that it, it got me making wanting to make one other thing. And so that's the other half of today's episode. We got two things. We're going to get it done and hopefully in a reasonable amount of time. Yes. But anyways, I saw the LPG comes from Pneumaticraft and that showed me something else that I wanted to check out, which was uh, gasoline. Gasoline is something we can make in Pneumaticraft. And that makes our smeltery like instantaneous, I believe, from what I was reading and what I saw. So I'm hoping that's true. We'll see. We will see how that works. But let me run over here and, oh, no, you're the induction smelter. And boom, we have a bed. Oh, so slow. Good thing I can fly. The FOV, man. Is it only if it's in your hand? No, it's just if it's in your inventory. Oh, my goodness. Look at how slow we are with that in our inventory. Oh, that is too funny. All right, cool. So we're going to break you down and get the achievement. No, no achievement yet. I, oh, and a bedrockium drum. How much do you need for the bedrockium drum? Uh, is this it? Bedrockium drum. I need six ingots. I'm only going to need one couple. Yeah, 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 yeah. We can make you. So let's go one, two, and a cauldron. Like so. Like so. And now we can make you. There we go. And I'll have three left over and I only need one. So cool. Bedrockium drum and ingots. That should be achievement. Yes. Bedrockium achievement complete. Now I don't know where I'm going to use that bedrockium drum. So I'm just going to put it away right now. Because we, 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 we are getting ready to make this hypo node. Which means I need to make four of the other nodes. The, the regular energy nodes. Uh, this guy. Transfer energy. So I need... I need four of these, so I'm going to need 16 transfer nodes. And that's going to be... Whoop, come on. 
I got the, what am I missing? It's always something. It is always something. It's chests that I'm missing. Okay. Well, we got a whole bunch of wood. So we're just going to make a bunch of chests. It's like chess is always a limiting factor um, in my recipes. So I'm going to go ahead and make 32 of them right now. I think that sounds like a good idea. And let us make these transfer nodes now. There we go. Yes. Yeah, see, I knew that's what it was. One, two, three, four. Perfect. And then we're going to need a little bit of gold to gold. Like a so. That should be enough. And there was something else. There's something in the middle. Um, oh, the breath. And I think I have those. I, I should. I've done a lot of. Ah, ha, ha. One, two, three, four. Cool. So we can go make this bad boy up. And then I believe it's just a matter of crafting. I keep seeing that green. I was like, you know what? I keep thinking it's a creeper. Even though I got the magnum torch down, I keep thinking it's a creeper. And it's so scary. I don't want to be running into any creepers. All right. One, two, three, four. Good. And now, I don't know. Is it in here? Or is it just regular crafting? No, is it? that's it. We've got our hypo energy node. Let's see it. Yes. And then this, I believe, is just crafting with my um my eight my eight bad boys here so let us see if i can do this i uh, will just do it this way it's easier than going back and forth and hoping for the best there we go and aha a 64 times generator all right that's cool let's put all you back let's go place this bad boy down and we won't have to worry about power for quite some time. Ha! Huh. This one, this actually truly makes me happy. I don't, whoa. I don't like messing around with power and stuff like that. Like, I just like it to be done with. And so, whoops. All right, let me just, oh, hey, you guys stop it. Come on, put it back in. Oh, really? Really, 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 really? Well, Okay, well, I'll just have two of these buckets because the whole system's backed up. But, the, come on, you guys, use some energy so I can see this again. Come on, use some energy. You guys, do some harvesting or something. There you go. Let's see how long it is. It is 25,600 RF. Okay, cool. For a very short amount of time, but that's still a lot of power. We won't have to worry about power for quite a while. That makes me terribly happy. Terribly, terribly happy. All right, so we are moving on now because now there's one thing I'm going to start on, and that is the imbuing station, which is this guy right here. That was the one I wanted to make a long time ago and couldn't because I couldn't get the vines or the lily pads, but we're rocking and rolling on that now. So we've got vines. I know I've already got these, but I'm just going to make them anyways. We've got lily pads. We need grass. How do I make grass? Oh, am I, I'm, am I really, sometimes you get so used to looking up crazy recipes, you forget how simple things really are. Like, Hey, let's just go grab some shears and I've got bone meal and let's get some grass. Oh, that really wasn't tough at all. Was it? There we go. Cool. So, you know, I'm gonna leave that flower there. We're starting to we're starting to get pretty stuff here. So, all right, cool. So back to the imbuing station. Now this is what we need to make the Ender Pup. Um, I don't know what the connection really is. I'm sure if I thought about it long enough, I can kind of figure it out. But um, we're gonna need a cauldron. There we go. And green stained clay. Cool. Got you. And now we should be able to make you. I I should have emerald blocks, right? Do I? That's actually curious. Do I not have any emerald blocks? I may not because I all have all my emeralds are loose. Yeah. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There we go. And one of my dislocators is on. Hmm. And one's off. All right. Cool. So let's head over here. Make sure you're empty. We're gonna go ahead and I really still I don't even know what's in here. What is that material in there? It's not coming out. Oh, it's Yellorium. Interesting. Well, we can just do this. There we go. And we'll just put you back. 
Perfect. Now you're going to pull... Here we go. Hey! How, how is that even possible? All right, let's try this again. That should have been all of the Yalorium now, right? Now you're good. Now you're going to stop doing weird stuff. And, uh, yeah, I forgot that I had taken down the lava stuff. And so I just had to set up a real quick uh, little lava crucible over here. It's, it ain't pretty, but it works. Okay, there's weird stuff going on. I just put in nine ink. What is the reasoning for not being all the way down on this side? See, because there's... Oh, there's crap in there. That's why. That's interesting. Uh, apparently, cows have been jumping in here and dying. And is there blood in here now? No, I don't see any blood. No, we're, we're, everything's looking okay. Except I need to turn you off. There we go. And, okay. So while that's going, we need that block. Um, there's a couple of things we're going to need. And that is, we're looking for the endo pump. Right? This is... And is it Ender Pump? No, what is that stupid thing called? It is... Endo Pump. That's what I said. Oh, Ender Thermic Pump. That's... <sighs> hyphenated Thermic. There we go. So, the reason we need the Imbuting Station is for this guy right here, the Energized Water, right? Now, the Ender Diamond, we can make real easily. So, let's let's make up the rest of these while we're waiting on those emeralds. Um, I should... I should have these guys. I've made so many of the crystals. Um, aha! Ender... That's it right there, right? Yeah, I've got uh, Ender Infused Obsidian. I've got 107 of them. We're good there. I need that... <clears throat> the crystal, which I can do. Bingo, got you. Um, a dark pick, I know I can do that. Got you. And, ooh, a lava crystal. This I have not done. Uh, fire charge, blaze powder steel, and graphite dust. Ooh. Is there an alternate recipe for that? Alternate recipe? Nope, I gotta get some graphite dust. Okay, so coal. I'm gonna need some coal. It's not like it's gonna take a long time. It was just kind of trying to avoid that. So, because boop, 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 done. And then now I've got my pulverizer. Boop, 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 done. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And these are all um, moved up to resident level, except for this, uh, the glacial precipitator. And then they all, all have all their speed upgrades in them now, so. Things are cranking at an amazingly fast rate, and I love it. All right, so back to our endothermic pump. I, there we go. Endothermic. I need to make you, so I need four of you. Should have everything else. Oh, and I didn't really need that many anyway, so it's okay. Um, I have ender. Everything should be done except for that guy. So I just got to make the imbuting station. And liquefied emerald. Um, yeah, come on, man. Okay, is there... Ah, there was blood this time. That's what it was this time. Okay, not a problem. Problem solved. Go ahead and give me my emerald, please. And thank you. <clears throat> and then we can make the immune station. So we can make that potion. And then make our pump. So, um... Imbuing station, not pew, imbue. There you go. I have everything now. Got you. I don't know if this needs power. A lot of the extra utility stuff doesn't need power. No, it doesn't. All right, so now we're making the potion for the endothermic, like a soul. Um, this one. So it's gunpowder, glowstone, and redstone with a bottle of water. Yeah, I think I can handle this recipe. I think I'm okay with it. Uh, glowstone. Redstone. Gunpowder. Oh, yep, 3,000. Yeah, I think we're okay there. And a bottle. Yeah, I got 58 bottles. We're good to go there. All right, so... Oh, you know what? I've got my... I got moved over here. There we go. So water, please. Q. 
Can I not take... I can't take water out of this? Well, that's awkward. Um, huh. Well, I don't you know, want to dig a hole in that. You know what? It's so silly, but I'll just jump over here. I know I've got a cauldron there that I can take water out of. That is so weird that uh, I can't get water out of there. I mean, I know I've got the cauldron right here, so that's quick, fast, and easy. Boop, thank you. And now we can go make our little potion, and then we can make the endothermic pump. And if it's what I think it is, I actually kind of dig on the concept of it. Oh, that's like, oh, I thought it was always super fast, but not super fast, but not too slow. Not too bad. Almost done. And there we go. We've got our energy. What is that called? Energized water. That's what that is. Okay, cool. And now back to our endothermic. And we should have everything. Get in the system, get in the system. Oh, come on. I literally just made every single item. Do I not have any ender eyes? No, I do. Okay. You go there, literally just by typing ender, like everything's visible. <clears throat> um, one, two, three, four. And what else do I need? Um, this crystal here. Oh, I forgot to make the crystal. That's what I was missing. Okay. I, I, I mentioned that. I talked about it, but I didn't actually make it. Um, why? What? Why aren't you coming up? Ender? Oh, because I put underscore. That's why. There we go. Um, you. I need to make you. Do I not have a bucket of lava? <clears throat> nope, but I got buckets. Um, LPG. What can I do with you to make you go away real quick? Um, let's just do this. Why did... Oh, uh, I hate when I do that. I hate it, hate it, I hate it. When I accidentally click stuff in here and I don't mean to. Uh, dislocator. Wait, where's my, where's my diesel? Okay, this isn't my regular one, is it? Or is that what I did when I mentioned that early? Ah, silly, silly things, man. Silly things. And I just remembered that I don't have, oh, hey. I don't have my mana bracelet on me or my mana um, ring or whatever it's called. Uh, lava, that's what I came here for. All right, cool. Now we've got this. Now, I'm pretty sure we got everything we need. You stay here. Let's put you away. I'm just misclicking all over the place. Okay. So now, Ender Thermic, you Lava Crystal, go. Do I not have Blaze Rods and can I make them? Um, that is the only way to make Blaze Rods? Well, I guess we're going to go ahead to the end real quick. Because we know there's plenty of blazes right by our uh, portal. So, we can go in here, shoot up a couple blazes, get the blaze rods. Yeah, I tore that whole area down over there and just moved my portal over. Go away. On that bridge. So, it's quick, fast, and easy. And then the blazes are right over here. Come on, guys. Come on. Come on. You guys harass me all the time. The one time I actually want you to spawn, you're not gonna? What, what's up with that? Haha, there you go. All right, did we get blaze? Okay, we know we need four, so. Just gonna be a second while we get these. I normally would break away right here, but I know it's not gonna take too long, so I'm just kinda rolling with the punches on this one. How does that spirit get me? Ah. I spent half my time just having fun trying to shoot these things. I feel accomplished when I get them. Not a big accomplishment, but I do do feel a little bit accomplished. Um, come on, please. There you go. There we go. Now we got two. Ha ha ha. I got you. And I just need two more. Come on. 
Let's go, Mr. Blazes. You guys harass me all the time. Where are you guys at now? Oh, there's a blaze right there. There's two of them. Along with some wither skeletons and else. And I see two blaze rods. I see a couple blaze rods. We're good to go. We got five. All right. Now we can get this pump done. And I honestly, I read a little bit about it, but I didn't quite understand it. It looks like it's a normal pump. Like I could put it in the nether and it would just like kind of pump lava for me. I'm not 100% sure if that's accurate, but that's kind of the way I interpreted it. So there we go. That should be mission accomplished. There it is. Okay. So let's place down this endo pump and check it out real quick. There is no GUI for it. Like a lot of the, um, oh, what do you call it? Like the, a lot of the extra utility stuff. But I believe if you have it, I, I don't know. I really, I don't know. I'm going to read some more about it. Because I don't want to spend time on that because there's other stuff I want to get done today that is very useful. The first thing is for local energy transfer. So I don't have to use energy conduit everywhere. I was looking into these guys and like, huh? Nope, that's not what it was called. Um, this guy, transmitter. Where are you at? There you go. Very, very simple to make. It's enderpearls quartz with redstone torches and it's a transmitter. And then I can also make the receiver. Ender, that's what, ender transceiver and ender. Okay, so let us make these up. Um, oh, where are you at? Receiver, there you go. And that's quartz and red. Okay, cool. So let's grab a few torches. I just need two of you, one, two. And let's get rid of all this other stuff that we don't need. That's completely useless right now. There we go. And some quartz. Just grab a stack for right now. And some ender pearls. And I'm just realizing if I right click when I click in here, it clears it out for me, which is so nice. And some redstone. There we go. I didn't need a lot of it. But I think that's everything we need to make these guys. They didn't seem like they had difficult recipes. So ender pearls like this. Actually, let me double up because we're just, this is almost like a test, really, like that. Yeah, there we go. So there's the receiver. Yep. And then the sender is you like that and like that. Okay. So we're going to test this out real quick. I have um, cells. Do I have any of those cells left that I made? Like this guy, the hardened energy cell, right? We can test out with this. I'm going to make one of those. No, I need to make the nodes. That's what I need to make to test this out. And if this works, this is a simple way to push energy around uh, locally. If, if that makes sense, like around here in the immediate area. Um, okay, I know that's not. There we go. Cool. And I need gold and the uh, breath. There you go. So you, let's get rid of all you. And gold again. Oh, but I'm gonna need two of these. Shoot. Yep, so let me grab you and another breath. Breath, breath? I don't know what that word actually is, but <clears throat> I'm going with breath. I mean, sure, sounds good. I did not know that these actually worked as like energy conduit kind of things or whatever, but from what I was reading, they do. So if I plop one right here like that, it actually takes energy. And then oh, I need to get my anvil out. Uh, now this is what I was reading. I don't know how legit this is, but this is what I was reading and I was getting a good understanding of it. Um, anvil. We're going to see if this is legit or not. This could be a really cheap and easy way just to kind of... So if you put it in here and name the frequency like um, home. And this is supposed to be cross-dimensional too. So we made that one as home. And we're going to put this one on the same channel. So this one will be home. Are you kidding me? I really don't have the... That's so funny. So receiver, 
I didn't. Oh yeah, there it is. Frequency home. Okay. I gotta go get some levels. Really? How? Oh, because I just donated them to my room. I just donated a little bit ago to the Batania flowers as I was walking by. More just for fun than anything. Like, there was no real purpose to it. Um, I My item dislocator's gone again. Something's going on here. All right, so all in. One, two, three, four, five. I'll grab six, whatever. I don't remember throwing my item dislocator anywhere. So that... Where is it? Did... It's back in here. When did I throw you away? I don't know. Anyways, here we go. Uh, you go in there and you're going to be home as well. And I hope this works. I really, really do. Home. Okay, so now you're on the proper frequency. Home and home. Public spectrum, which is fine because it's just me. Now, if I come over here and click on you, you are the transmitter, right? And then we just go, well, really anywhere. Um, <clears throat> we're just going to grab this cell right over here and set it down like so. And then we're going to go ahead and put this transmitter. And so blue is in, right? I always forget which one's in and orange is out. Yeah, I think that's right. And receiver... It should. Is orange inner? It's supposed to be putting out power. Let me see. Let me see. I know that this gets power over here. So is it only for items? Is it not? And no, holding RF. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is the transmitter. This should be giving power right yeah because that's how my power comes out of it hmm i don't have an inventory i'm trying to send power this okay this is what i wanted it for now this is also it's funny because i re i just thought about it it says this is cross-dimensional so this could have been like the easiest tesseract ever if that was the case, um, let's see if that actually works. Because then I can start using these as well. I want to I want to use more than just one mod. Like, that's why I like the dimensional transceiver. And I'm literally, like, pointing at my screen with my hands right now. Um, I like the dimensional transceiver for that reason. And so, here we go. So, we're going to put you there. And we're going to put an egg in you. Why... I don't think it needs a world interaction. What if I, if I put you in there, can I know? Oh, cause there's nowhere for it to go. Maybe that's why, cause there's nowhere for it to go. I didn't put the chest down over here. Right. Could that be it? It should power searching for connections at zero, 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 zero holding. Okay. Frequency is on home. It should be able to receive. This is a little bit concerning because I know it should be working. Spectrum set to private, public. Private, public. And this one should, I don't remember ever clicking on anything. So this one should be public as well or private as well or public. Yeah. That too. Private public. Searching for inventories at zero, 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 zero. Why are you searching for inventories at zero, 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 zero? We're not at zero, 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 zero. So, okay. I'm going to do a little bit of research really quick and we're going to figure this out because I thought this thing was going to be too cool and now it's a little bit disappointing and we wanted to stop being disappointed. So I'll be right back. All right, guys. So if I'm reading it right, I just need to change one thing. I, I th think this might fix the issue. I don't know. I'm being just hopeful here. But uh, if I grab some conduit real quick and get out of here. Like so. I don't need the chest anymore. 
Although it should be able to do items as well, I think. But there's that. Then we connect you to that, right? Because this is, yeah, always put out energy or whatever. And now there's a transmitter. This should be transmitting to the receiver on the same channel. I, I don't know if that was part of the issue, but no, it doesn't seem to be getting the energy. I don't. Oh, wait, hold on. Nope. Okay. So let us add a conduit right here and then the node. Then you should be able to put in. I don't get it. This is. Oof. If you guys know, because the way I'm reading it, I th I'm almost certain I'm doing it right. I really, really am almost certain I'm doing it right. Um, this should be receiving energy from that. That should be receiving energy from... Right? I just... Does this... This one has no energy in it. Okay. So maybe it's something with the side? Configure... Oh! Oh! Didn't even think about that. Configure this side. Push. Push. Push in energy. No. Right? Configure. Okay, we'll just do none. I don't know. Energy. Send. I don't know. Here we go. Something's going to work. Because this thing is getting energy and it's powering my entire system here. So let, oh, what did I just do? Oh, that's gonna mess everything up. Is it? No, are you all set? You're still good? Okay. Except I don't want to send and receive. So let me fix that real quick. Oh, it's energy. I guess that's okay. Let me, I know for sure these conduits over here have energy. So as you can see, aha, now it's got a buffer. Oh, now it's sending. Oh, so it was just the pipe just wasn't getting energy. So you should be good now. And you're not getting energy. You're getting 240. Oh, because you're not set on the right end. Oh, look at that. Easy way to send energy. Okay, that is really, really cool. I think that is highly, highly useful. I don't know about you, but I think that's really, really useful. Because that is a cheap way to wirelessly send energy anywhere we need it. And I believe items can work as well. I'm not 100% sure about that, but I believe items should be able to be transferred as well. So let's go back to trying that. Okay, so you are connected. So that is a, you know, a, a reasonable location. And you are connected, right? So if I put that egg back in here, this may not work. This might only be for energy. It's powering two connections. This one and that one over there. Awesome. So it's filling that cell. It's already done. That is really cool. So no items. It's cool. I can handle that. But this is a cheap and easy way to send energy all over the place. It only does 240 RF per tick. But, you know, it's if you don't have high demand or if you just want something to kind of buffer and keep, you know, energy moving... That is really, really useful. I like that. I'm really glad I saw that because, yeah, we're getting to the point where we're going to kind of be surpassing that. But at the same time, when, like, when it comes to things like applied energistics, people know to power in different locations. And this is supposed to be cross-dimensional. So, like, I can make another receiver and go to the last millennium or, and do it over there. That's just awesome. Awesome, 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 awesome. So let us claim a couple of these. We're going to claim our transfer node here. And beyond the core, oh, we already did last millennium, so that's why we're getting that one, okay. And we've got our bedrockium, so we've got that one done. And now we've got our endo pump, so that was successful. And let's check out and see if we've got anything useful in these loot chests. Um, let's go ahead and add you. Now, this should be 14 this time. Okay, I don't know how I got behind on one. I, you know, I don't even question it anymore. Um, jukebox, your, well, whatever. 
Um, an advanced bin. I've gotten so many basic bins, an advanced bin's a nice change. Ooh, laser focuses for the uh, laser pre-driller and all that stuff. Yeah, I forget what that's called. From Mine Factory. That's actually, I think, kind of useful. So, yeah. I, I don't know about you guys, but I hope you guys had fun today. This was, this was one, like, I was trying to, you know, get some useful stuff done. And not that I think I'll ever use this block ever again. But we needed it to make this one. And I need to go do some research exactly how the endothermic pump works. Because if it's just for pumping water and lava, obviously that's not a necessity. We've got so many different ways to do it. I can use the um, the, the the liquid nodes from Extra Utilities. And, you know, <clears throat> we've got tons of pumps. And I'm using the Rancher for moving fluids. It doesn't have a huge purpose, I don't think. But... It was an achievement and we had to get it done and it unlocked um, the next one, which is the combustion engine and the logic pipes. So we're almost finishing up with gamma and delta. We've got a huge chunk of it. I can start looking at those, but I need to figure out what I need to do to open up Eta, Eta. And I think Eta is going to be opened up by Pneumatic Craft. And that's what we're going to be doing next episode. 100% guaranteed for sure we are going to be stepping into Pneumatic Craft. That's actually why I dyed this whole area black. I just thought black was very fitting, and I know there's a lot of machines for pneumatic craft, and so I kind of wanted it over there. Although, it's all going to eventually move anyways once I get the, the village started building. So, anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed, and oh, I almost forgot. I almost forgot. We're not going to do as many today. We're just going to do, um, I don't know. We'll do, we're going to do 10. We're going to do 32 at one time. That's how crazy I'm going with it today. 32 at one time. I'm probably going to waste a whole bunch of them because they're going to blow each other up and stuff. But that's what we're going to do. We're going to go and open up 32 chance cubes and see what kind of mayhem is going to ensue. So just a nice area. I know that these chance cubes don't do nearly like the, the negative stuff. So I feel safe just kind of flying over here real quick and just putting a row of them down. Just as long as they're all connected. Why is that Enderman following me? Why are you aggroed? I didn't do anything. Again, yeah, leave me alone. Oh, you're you're back for more, huh? Leave me alone. Oh, cool. Unknown demo. I always like those. All right, make sure this is all connected. Yes, 32 chance cubes at one time. Stupidest thing I've done so far? I don't know. Here we go. Um, ooh, ooh. Um, okay. So it looked like we got some like cool platform looking thing, but it didn't last very long. And this fire needs to go away. Um, I got a book of memes, uh, a wooden hoe. It looks like I got another Seth Bling kit there. Uh, some more ender, a s ocelot. That's actually kind of cool. What is the book of memes? Um, there's status, not sandstorm. That, that was it. Interesting. Okay. Well, now there's a whole bunch of jellyfish. It looks like all the bats died, so it's just jellyfish now. Or not jellyfish, but magma cubes. What are these blocks? Lightning speed blocks? Ooh. Hold up. Um... I'm trying to not get hit by the jellyfish. Cool. Let's. I'm kind of curious. Oh, yeah. I guess we got to break this last one that didn't blow. Oh, get out of here. Oh, man. What is this? This is not lava. I don't know what material that is, but that is not lava. All right. Last one. Go, 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 go. For the jellyfish get in the way. Come on. Break, 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 break. break. There we go. Hair Brian joined the game. Okay. Random silly one. All right, well, I got some stuff. I mean, nothing really cool, but some redstone lamps. I got ocelot. These lightning speed blocks, I'm going to have to check them out because that just sounds like something that could be potentially really cool. And yeah, I didn't die. That's the good thing. I, I get a little bit of fire. Got a little on fire, but I didn't die. And ooh, it looks really dark. Or is it nighttime? I always forget because I have night vision on. Well, anyways, guys. I hope y'all enjoyed today's episode. I actually had, you know, this one was a lot of fun because like I said, finding things like this, right? When I'm playing around, trying to find new and different things to do or whatever, that is really fun for me. Um, 
Yeah, and the fact that it works is it's really cool. Now, this was useless, and I don't need that. And that other chest, I think, are, no, I didn't pick it up, but I'll go pick it up right now. But that, I think, is really, really cool. Just an easy way to transfer power. Like, and it's almost completely crossed over. Now, it ain't fast. That's for sure. It is not fast. But it does its job. And I'm curious if I have to have this conduit here. All right, let's see if I actually have to have the conduit. Um, where is it? Put you in there. Do you have to have the conduit? Nope, it's pumping energy right in. Awesome. So yeah, so that is really, really useful. And I'm going to make up a whole bunch of those and a whole bunch of receivers. So that way, when we're working around here, I don't have to run conduit everywhere. And then if there's a way I can figure out a way to run items as well, that'd be really cool. But I think that'd be kind of pushing it, so... But anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. And if you did, please don't hesitate to hit that like button. And if you are brand new to the channel and want to see more content like this and watching someone who really doesn't know much about the mods learn about the mods in a relatively productive way, please hit that subscribe button. You'll get notifications letting you know when I post videos, which has been daily as of lately. Until next time, travelers, y'all know the deal. I am Slider Havoc, and I am out of here. Peace.